moving on, Brad, we have Baltimore, according to Bavada, minus three and a half at Pittsburgh division matchup. Both uh, Pittsburgh coming off the big win, Baltimore coming off the uh, the loss to Cleveland. Oh, man, you know, I, I think that uh, Baltimore bounces back. You know, I think they, they regain form, and I think they go into Pittsburgh and handle theirs. I agree. Um, so I, I was actually looking before um, the game. My analytics spat out Baltimore. I, I wrote down my thing before I looked at the analytics, so they lined up. And I thought, you know, every anytime I'm like, uh, you know, a division, a division home underdog, I, I find it hard to bet against them. We actually got burned on that two weeks ago, Brad. But yeah. I looked, you know, what's, what's Pittsburgh's, you know, um, biggest issue offensively is their ability to throw the ball deep. Baltimore's issue um, offensively, I'm sorry, defensively, they can't cover the deep pass. I don't think Pittsburgh's going to be able to de- hit the deep ball on Baltimore quite a bit. Um, then I got, um, let's see, um, the run game. Pittsburgh isn't really running the ball that well, and they can't defend the run that well. I just think matchup-wise, this is the Baltimore thing. If I am talking daily fantasy here, I like Lamar Jackson. Um, I don't love Ingram, but I like Marquise Brown a little bit more and Mark Andrews quite a bit against Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh, I like James Conner and really nothing else. Uh, Juju Smith-Schuster, and that's it. James Conner, Juju Smith-Schuster. I don't really like any of the other guys. 